Concerns about the treatment of students with disabilities and segregation are popping up again for Fargo and West Fargo public schools. Today, staff members told area state lawmakers about plans to remodel Agassiz for students with behavioral issues. The two districts presented their plans for Agassiz. Representative Kathy Hogan uh, brought up concerns about segregating students based on their disabilities, an idea that has also been shared by local advocates. Senator Tim Mathern questioned funding for the project. Mathern asked if the $4 million budget would be better served in preventative services to keep troubled kids in the classroom. But there was also support among the legislators. Senator Judy Lee says when it comes to helping these kids as quickly as possible, the perfect cannot get in the way of the good. And Lee says the proposed program is good. A large group of parents and advocates were at that meeting as well. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall spoke with one mother who agrees with Senator Mathern. She says her son wouldn't have ended up at Agassiz if there were more supports in the schools. In just a matter of months, Ashley Hofdahl's third grader went from this. He had ASD, so he was on an IEP from a young age. We saw Mark have some um, interesting characteristics and, and just kind of some uniqueness. To this. He actually was diagnosed with PTSD um, because of what happened to him at his school. He was waking up in the middle of the night telling me that he had bad feelings and he thought he was going to die. Hofdahl says after returning from break, her son Mark was transitioning to being back in the classroom, but staff had difficulty settling him back into the routine. She says staff used holds and seclusion to control her son. By March, Mark was selected for the Setting D program at Agassiz. We went to an IEP meeting at his home school and was essentially had the feeling that he was not welcome there and this was the option for him. The district says there's no set criteria for entrance into the program, but there will be procedures in place to make sure it's the right fit. If parents disagree with the placement, they can contact the IEP team or enter into mediation or due process. But Hofdahl says she's had difficulty contacting the district. It took us five weeks to get our first meeting together with that school to just sit down and talk about what Mark was doing. Um, at that meeting, we discovered that Mark wasn't doing that much as far as um, skill building or these therapies that they talked about or anything like that. So if we're talking about funding a pilot program that is operating like this, um, it's a huge mistake. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. Hofdahl also says the district isn't cooperating with parents, as it claims. Since Mark has been at Agassiz, she says the district has not reached out to her once for feedback on the program. 